popular coach. He is indeed. And all of these players lining up are very popular, of course. Who number five? I love her, always smiling. Had a brilliant game yesterday. So let's see who Lang Ping's gone with. Well, she gets to start. Who is on through the middle? We'll take that. <laughs> I love this. I do love this. It's great from the Chinese team. They look so relaxed. Uh, in the number six shirt, that's Gung. So Gung will start opposite. Number nine is Zhang Chang Ning. She didn't start yesterday, so she comes into the game through the wing. That suggests that Zhu Ting is not going to start. No number two on court then. The superstar for China is being rested at the start of this match. Li Ying Ying, the big left-hander through the wing. So Zhang and Li will play out wide. Yan Li and Hu Mingyuan will play through the middle. I thought uh, the blocking from Yan Li was unbelievable. There we go. Yan Li not being allowed to go on the court until the announcer called her. That's Jenny Lang Ping just saying, let's respect the announcer. That's nice. And that's good for the crowd as well in terms of identifying all the players. Lin Li had a few shaky moments in service reception yesterday. But uh, that's a really solid team, even minus Ju Ting. That's a great side. Big roar for Lang Ping. Only coach to win Olympic gold. And there's one Olympic gold as a player, so how's that accolade in her locker? And let's see how they set up then in terms of the rotation and the six positions. So Yao is setting, Gong up six, and then we've got Zhang and Li through the wings, and Hu and Yan two middle blockers. Yan was phenomenal stopper yesterday. She needs to be good against Karakut today, who plays opposite Ojbe. Yildirim and Ismailu, excellent passing unit, good wing hitting yesterday. And then Gunesh and Agman, phenomenal through the middle with Gunesh, just 20 years of age. Vacuum Bank middle blocker has been exceptional on the VNL so far. But that's the key to the victory today in your picture there. Karakut for Turkey. And on the side of the Chinese, without Ju Ting, it's going to have to be a more all-round performance from them. So Oshbe serves. Turkey will be on the right if you shot in white. China on the left in yellow. A packed crowd you can see in your shot. And a perfect start for the Chinese fans. Yeah, super spike from Gung from the Jiangsu province. As is sometimes the case with matches in China. Every time China do hit the ball, it's going to be a super spike and it'll be a monster <laughs> block every time they block it as well. And there's oh. an ace. <laughs> <laughs> Li Ying Ying. There we go, first ace of the day. Yeah, Hakosh coming in for passing duties at the moment in the libero position. Just got lobbed. Karakut. Oh. First contribution from her, and what a start for the teenager. So, those in the Jiang Men Sports Hall didn't know who number 99 was for Turkey. We're going to look at the programs now. Absolutely super start by the youngster. So, serve back with Turkey then. They're leading or down two points to one. Good block. Yeah, sensible hitting from Gung. It's nice and high, stays stable in the air, not the tallest of opposite players. It's always been the way, really, for China on that uh, right-hand side of court. They've been looking for so long for a big player for this new group of athletes. But Gong holding a place on there at the moment. Oh, wonderful pick-up. Appreciated by... The fans, the rally continues. Oh, the whistle goes, the point goes Turkey's way. Yeah, ball just got too close to the net for Yaldi. She ducked down to try and bump it into the air, just touches the bottom of the net with her arms. Gunesh serves. Oh, the power and the block. Turkey getting into this one. Three points apiece. Well, we were talking about this match and the potential result before we came on air, and sport is sport. It's always a, a lottery in terms of the result. But I felt with all of their players on court, China should win this game 3-0. However, minus Zhu Ting, makes things uh, very different.
Turkey keep the serve. Gunesh again. Sent high. Well, two dive in for Turkey. Wait for who? Kalakurt watches it drop to the floor. Four points apiece. Gong to serve. Super spike. Ishmeloglu. Super set as well. White, quick and flat, stranding the block. Karakut on the serve. Long. Got to make sure she doesn't go over the top today. Optimum, uh, sorry, optimum levels of arousal down there on court. You don't want to go too far and too high. Just try and keep it in under control. Flies off face number two. Great start from uh, Akos in that libero position. Look at that spike saved. Looked by the Turkish. This time, the youngster Ishmael Oglu. Might see a challenge here. Trying to thought that was out. Music starting. Yeah, they're going to ask if this ball was in or out. Kai will tell us shortly. Turkey not happy about the handling in that rally. One of the Chinese players double touching it as far as they were concerned. But that's not what the challenge is for. The challenge is for the line decision. No, block out. So did it touch the block is the question. Well, I thought the line touch was a much closer call than the block touch. Goes the way of China. So, one long serve each so far. Kurt watches that one fly by. Point back in the Turkish bank. Repositions herself. Serving whistle gone. Eight seconds. The serve to be taken in. Yep, Kanaka couldn't quite keep that one under control. The Chinese take a, a two point lead. A great set from uh, Yao Di, but a brilliant finish from Li Ying. Off balance and got a really strong swing on that. So, first technical timeout, China by two. Straighted on this one early doors, knowing the importance of the match. As they're leading by two against a strong Turkish team. So, who on the service line? Oh, wonderful pickup. Oshbeyla the bear. 
did well, but the challenge is potentially coming. Yildir in the Turkish number 21. Yeah, she hit brilliantly uh, yesterday. Negotiated the tall US block very nicely. The challenge here, from a Chinese point of view, is to disagree that this ball touched the block. So if it's missed the hands and it's out, it will be China's point. But it's virtually a carbon copy of the last review. So it was Ismail who was hitting last time. It's yielded him this time. Both of them missing the Chinese arms. Lang Ping will be delighted with the start that her team have made. They're missing two big players, Ju Ting and Yuan Xinyue. And from the bench, they're two superstars, really. Oh. And I just like the way that the other players seem to have stepped out of the shadow here. And in particular, Gung and Lee are really taking this on. Yep, stepping up when it matters. Look at this, the height of the ball from who? Wow. An absolute smash of a ball to give China a four-point lead in this first set. What a comeback, <laughs> what a comeback, and what a start she's made. Uh, you know, Gaudetti's been waiting for this young player to mature, but I think he was maybe thinking another couple of seasons, maybe even a next Olympic cycle. And this summer, she has just hit the mark. Karakur looks like a really good player now. Turkey. Call for a carry, Yardi, so nothing to do with the net, nothing to do with Turkey getting over the net. It's just a handling fall from the Chinese setter off a, a rather tight pass, not all her fault. with China. Ooh, well, Turkish players, including Karakut, looking to the official. Yeah, that look straight to the referee from all the Turkish yep. players that were just beaten by that spike is all the indication China needed to challenge this, because as far as China are concerned, if you react like that, you thought it was in. And that's what they're going to ask here. So China, based on the Turkish reaction to that play, think this ball is in. Challenges allowed per set. If you win your challenge, you get to keep them. Clamping. Still going with another challenge. A couple of shaky moments in the last two rallies. Not particularly good on service reception, China. And then when the ball came back out of system, they looked a bit confused. Yep, ball in. And that's all down to the Turkish players looking guilty. China a three-point advantage. Now deep. Another player that's going to be important today in the number 18 shirt. 20-year-old Zara Gunish, the Vakif Bank middle blocker, running that slide deep. She will be essential for Turkey today. She's got to kill everything she's given, but she's got to block well. Good block in the front line at the moment for Turkey. Oh. Oh. Spike. This. Yeah, it's going to sting a bit. Yeah. It's just caught Ojbay across the side of the face. I think she's OK. Can knock contact lenses out and things like that, but which base seems fine. No, just. Just. <laughs> China serve. Oh. Monster block. She did it all that yesterday, Yanni. I thought her blocking was just superb. And uh, very nicely done. So trying to keep the serve, creeping away a little bit now. Four points the advantage. Yildiz 
him once again. The long brown locks. It's the delight of her teammates. Oh, I love volleyball. Everybody celebrates everything. That's the rules. That's the rules. I like. Turkey serve. Oh, wonderfully kept in and picked up. Here we go, Karakurt. Blocked. Three at the net for Turkey. But it's not going to stop the juggernaut of this Chinese team. Four points now. They are leading a mega rally indeed. Turkey threw everything at the net, a triple block. But it wasn't to be. Yeah, that was the chance for the kill. It's Miolo deciding to tip because the block was so well formed. Easy defense. And then Gung is absolutely having a storm at the moment in the opposite position. Been asked to kill the ball seven times and she's killed it seven times. Giovanni Guidetti. A long way to go. Giovanni, it's all right. Super spike kept under control. A bit of blocking by Turkey. Oh, oh, fantastic. Another terrific rally. Both teams there contributing some good volleyball. Incredible bump, set, dig all the way along the net off a huge pickup from Gung. And China stay in the rally and win it. Denied, but the point goes. Turkey's way. To block up a few digits now, the number 99. It's great seeing Karakurt in full flow, but what we're being deprived of at the moment is Karakurt versus Yuting, and that will be a fantastic matchup if it happens later in the game. They happen. Yeah, goodness, just overcooking it. Coaches would prefer to see the ball go over the baseline than into the net. But that was a long way over the baseline. So the second technical timeout then of this first set. China with a five-point advantage. Gong, eight points, eight attacks, the number six for China. Yeah, been impressed with the way she started. And really important that she does this today because she will be the key spiker. Your opposite is so often your main scorer, but where China are concerned, Ju Ting takes most of that weight away from the other attackers. And without her on court, everybody else has had to contribute. And Gong has contributed really, really well. Made a super start to this game on the right side of court. Serve five points up. Oh, wonderful pick up kept in play. Well, a decent effort, but it's it's really difficult to win a point when you're stood on the floor. So you just have to put it back in play and trust your block. And uh, China have not done that. Interesting change up here for the first time. Busa Bunal is coming in as the replacement setter. She's coming in on the back line, which means that they have the opportunity to bring the tall Yilmaz into court for uh, Turkey. So double substitution, looking for a few points here at the net. Pick up some blocks. Oh, and the point goes Turkey's way with a super spike. So that double substitution by Giovanni Gudetti. 
paying dividends, 87.8 kilometers an hour. Again, a positive move by Turkey. Now just two points down. After what was developing into a comfortable lead for the Chinese. Yeah, Ismail has come in with a couple of points. Quite important the number nine does that. Good piece of defense from the new player on court, Yunal. Now, Zhang Chunlei comes on in the opposite position. I thought we would see Ding Jia at some point, normally the starting setter for this Chinese team. So she's in, and China pull off their own double substitution. Who now with the serve for Turkey? <laughs> Not been on long, but delivering an ace. Another master stroke from Guidetti. Substitution has worked a treat. Made the call, and three straight points. So, Lang Ping, with it being clawed back to just one. Understandably calling a timeout. China haven't scored since the last technical timeout. Got stranded on 16. 16 11 remember, at that point. This is good. This is what coaches want to see. They want to see teams and players going through these particularly tricky situations towards the back end of the set. Like we'll be noting how well individual players deal with this, and how well this particular group of players deal with this. China need a kill here. They do indeed. Turkey on the serve. <laughs> Well, they could have drawn level at 16 apiece. But it goes well for China. And a perfectly timed timeout from Lang Ping. And the serve is back in the hands of the number nine for China Zhang. Yeah, well, one concern in this Turkish lineup is number nine, Ishmaelu. So we played earlier this year in uh, Montreux. And she didn't look that happy with her situation in the team. She wasn't getting court time. But she's been out on court in the VNL for most of the matches, and she started this game pretty well. <laughs> Forced through by the left-hander. Just discussing Ding Jia exactly where she wants to set. Neil Maz could have done better there. Guidetti knows it. Good pick up from Ding. It's a free ball though to Turkey. You can see what Unal was trying to do. Trying to shift that ball wide and put pressure on the Chinese block, but it's gone wide and behind Yilmaz. Quite a difficult ball to hit for the number 21. Before you know it, China have pulled out to three points once again. Now it's Guidetti's turn to call a timeout. Former well, player himself, of course, Giovanni Guidetti. Led Netherlands to a fourth place at the Rio Olympics. Before marrying one of the Turkish players, having his first child. And very successful as a coach. Lots of different, lots of different hats that he's worn. And back his bank as well in Istanbul. So looking to share his words of wisdom with his Turkish side. Trying to pull back this three-goal deficit. Who those serves for China? Block, but picked up wonderfully well. It's out. I don't think that Yilmaz realised there was only one block to beat. So she tried to go on an even more acute angle to get past two blockers, and she's missed the court. So China hit the 20 point mark. Nice 
pick up. Goes high. That goes Turkey's way. Yields are enforcing the issue down the line. Looks like can welcome Gunes back on to the front court. Captain Bachmann back to the service line, the other middle blocker. So not a great defensive backcourt for Turkey here. And, uh, two touches called on Dingja, so one of the world's best setters, one of the world's best handlers of a volleyball. She's been penalised for the technique that she's just used to play the ball. It's a really unusual situation, not many sports where the referee makes a subjective decision on your technique in playing a ball. Oh, blocked but picked up wonderfully well. Oh, there's height on that one. Yeah, deep breath for China, unable to control that one. And all of a sudden, Turkey continuing to battle in this first set. Decent hit to the line. That Turk Guidetti's done a lot of work with Yilmaz on her line hitting, worried about her collapsing away from the shot, but she controlled that well. well. I was about to say Turkey potentially to draw it level, but China, of course, have other ideas. It hasn't hit much during the game, Yan Ni. But again, that fairly restricted run up, just make sure she gets it between the blockers, jumps and gets the accurate set for the kill. <laughs> well, the Turkish celebrating virtually as soon as it went back away across the net. Changes now happening once again. Yep, the reversal of the double substitution on both sides of the net. Gould comes back in. Chinese side, so Yilmaz will serve and then we'll see Yilmaz replaced after this. Setter on court for Turkey. Akos taking over, that's not great. Cleverly oh. done. That was almost a beach volleyball hit. That was nicely controlled, good top spin right into the corner. Well, the net was loaded with Turkish players. It wasn't to be. 22 playing 20. China on the serve, three points away from the first set. Bay in for Yilmaz, so got a setter on court again, Turkey. And you can see that it works very nicely. Super spike from Gudesh. the Turkish level 22 been, points apiece having been brilliant for the whole of the set goal finally makes an error but what a time to make the error so Wang Ping calls a timeout at 22 points apiece Giovanni's credentials. Briefly mentioned the legend that is Lang Ping, 1982 world champion, Olympic gold in Los Angeles in 1984. Over to the States, did a bit of coaching there, hence the Jenny was <laughs> on the first part of her name, Simon. Yeah, that's that's the name that the American players gave Lang Ping. <laughs> Jenny Lang Ping. That's how she's still known over in the States. Good ball control from China, that's not been a problem for them, the pass has been pretty stable. That's allowed them to beat this Turkish block, but we're back to an even game. Good 
perfectly timed time out by Lang Ping as well, coming back in and winning the point off the back of it. Two points then off winning the first set of China. Karakut. Kept in play by Zhao Di. Another high ball. Three at the net for China. Big touch. Picked up. Oh, that's a wonderful rally. Oh! And Karakurt knew she threw both her fingers in the air. Wow. Fantastic tussle. We're definitely not happy because there was a half of a whole Chinese player over the line. It wasn't dangerous, not dangerous situation, but looked to me like uh, that was a fairly clear line fault. But in the end, doesn't matter. Turkey pick up the point. Experience of uh, Erchan going to come in for Gunes. So Erchan is on to serve as a specialist and then follow in as a more mobile defender than Gunes. This is just about sneaking a point. Turkey going to try and just sneak a point here. Yaldi back in to set for China. So brings Yao back to the bench. This is the time when Coach Gudetti wants his players to step up at 23 apiece. Oh, substitution is oh. Ju Ting <laughs> in. There was a long delay before that. But the reaction of the crowd tells you that's what they've come to see. They want to see their star captain in action. Yep. And she's on to try and save this set. I wonder where this uh, ball is going to go in attack. <laughs> What's that noise for? I thought naively <laughs> as Ting makes her way onto the court. No, goes the gun. And China pay the price. Is the point that I was talking about that Turkey have snuck, snaked, or snuck in. It's another fine hit from Miss Meloglu. Set it all up to take the lead. Set point for Turkey. Ting. Karakurt. Ting. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. What a great contest. So, Ju Ting goes up against Karakort. Karakort slows her down. Brilliant effort. Then Karakort goes against Ju Ting, and she slows her down. And they get the transition play for a 92.9 kilometer kill. Woo! That's what we were hoping for. 24 apiece. We still go on in this first set. Oh. It was only going one place on the net. And Ju Ting, wow, this mercurial performer playing against four or five of her teammates down there from the Turkish League. And she has absolutely murdered that ball over the top of the block. She means business. He's not happy. Why we don't say where we have to stay? Discipline. He's absolutely right. The set went up to Ju Ting, and the Turkish players all disappeared to various parts of the court and didn't stand where they should be standing. The player in the centre of his shot, the number two. Well, seven figures in US dollars of the last three years she was paid in Turkey, the highest paid volleyball player in the world. I'm talking men or women, comes onto the court and potentially is helping China now win the first set. Set point for the Chinese. And there you go. Missed it. Yeah, there was the matchup to finish it all off. Karakurt against Ju Ting, and this time the teenager comes up short. We might see a challenge though. They've got one left. Why not ask? Why not ask? Did it touch the block? You never know. Might have been a micro fingernail. I think he said, I don't think so. 
Yeah, and a sip of water. Might need a bit more of that. Giovanni Guidetti. The next sets continue like that. What an absolute corker of a first set. China take it 26-24. And the turning point was bringing on Ju Ting. The crowd are beside themselves. An absolutely super start to this second match on day two of week four in pool 16 of the VNL. There's going to be some good highlights to look back on. Enjoy this, plenty more to come. So some statistics on attacks, dead level, 15 points apiece. It kind of tells the story of the first set in terms of the scoring and the way it went, Simon. Yeah, good trading set. So both teams exchanging points all the way through right until the closing phase. Then Turkey got a grip on it. Turkey had the chance to win it, but no. Lang Ping had just one superstar card up her sleeve. And once uh, Ju Ting came on, well, the rest is history. Let's have a look, Ben. The Turkey serve placement. Yeah, they're serving more to an area of court, I think, rather than worrying about who to serve on. Uh, trying to put a bit of pressure, I think, on uh, Lin Lee. They seem to have followed the libero for China around a bit more. And, uh, in terms of the Chinese uh, serve placement, well, you can see they're shoving it all down to position one. So they're trying to make sure it all goes down to the corner so the setter has to keep setting across her body, which means she's setting a negative ball most of the time over her shoulder to Karakut. She's having to force the set to Karakut, and it's working well for China. They're reading it easily. So looking down, Ju Ting has her tracksuit top in hand. Did a little bit there. I'm sure if needed, she'll be comfy back on at some point. <laughs> yeah, I, I, well, I think we've seen now what Lang Ping intends to do, and if the team gets in trouble at any stage in the set, then uh, we will see Ju Ting on court again. Not sure we'll see Yuan Xinyue through the middle. I think both Hu and uh, Yan Ni are doing a fine job. Well, there we go. Another step in the learning curve for Karakur. Big ball to hit to stay in the set. She's missed it, but you live and learn. So China serve. Get us underway in this second set. Good start, though, by Turkey. Well, yeah, Gunish for me is still one of the best players out there. I think she's a super player at just 20 years of age. Real maturity, real knowledge in terms of the playing position that she's in in the middle. Just keeps delivering for Turkey. Oh. And then you get a chance on your first point. You put away a super spike. Goonish is going to have to put a protest into the jury, I think, because uh, her super spike didn't get recorded, but that was a super spike from Gung. Basically, two fantastic hits to start this set. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> oh dig that one out of the court. It's a middle blocker's dream. The overpass, it's coming to you with power. you just got to put your wrist over the top of it, and whoa, that bounces. Yeah, the serves. Oh, Karakurt comes with the gentle little bit of finesse. Totally the right idea. And if she could have beaten the block, she had Yan Li in back court, it would have been the point. That would not have been defended, but she couldn't get it past the blocker's hand. Really good jump from Junk.
beautiful stuff. Ah, frustration. Frustration for Oshbay. This. Oh, goes flying off the right hand side. China flying four points to one. Bit of confidence. Yes. Double yell from Calicut on that one. I feel as a player she needs those, Simon, sometimes to. Just, yeah, she, you know, she does need a point. bit of firing up. She's she's like that and she does it all herself. Doesn't need anybody else to start the cheering. She really is a, a one woman cheerleading squad. And a nice follow up. Good off pace serve from Karakurk. That's a clever play from the youngster. Yeah, she's getting on a bit of a roll now. Pleased with the last point. We'll be delighted with the race. Throws it high. And then puts it into the net. Yeah, poor throw. Uh, not a great contact on that one. Good start from both teams, though, to this set, although China do look a little more in control of things. Wide. Point goes China's way to extend their lead to three. Captain Kuva Hartmann. Good friends with... Uh, Ju Ting on the other side of the net. They were having a nice chat earlier before the warm-up for this game. Two captains. Both played played at Vakif Bank together. It's going to be a big loss for Vakif Bank with uh, Ju Ting coming back to China for the Olympic preparations. The Chinese player has been recalled. In the lead up to Tokyo to defend that Olympic gold medal. Vakif Bank confident hopefully that Ting and others will return but that's in the future because at the moment we've got a lovely wonderful VNL match going on here Could be worthy of the final in a few weeks time Simon you never know these two strong sides yeah a lot of pundits think this one could be the final game quite a few other teams on the VNL would uh, argue oh, with you but uh, <laughs> yeah it wouldn't be out we are beyond the uh, realms of possibility I think Italy looking very good as well Again, so three sets on that slide D to the captain, Kubra Ackman. One in, two out. Might get a challenge. But if not, just a straight timeout. There we go, technical timeout arrives. Volleyball action. Shmanoglu, well, let's look at the figures. Six points so far. Six on attack. Yeah, she's been good. She's um, taken on some of the service reception as well. I like the way she manoeuvred herself around court to try and deal with some of the better float serves. And has made a good enough start in attack to justify her place on court, so she'll keep the more experienced Urchan on the bench for the moment. So China then with a four-point advantage, one set up. That's the player that is stopping Ju Ting from getting on court, Zhang. I think that's a different kind of pressure to have most of the crowd here in the Jiangmen Gymnasium. Not really wanting you on court. Yes. That's a strange one. Oh, good stuff from the Chinese. You, another player that appeared on the scene as a, a teenager, really young player when she first came into this squad, and we knew she was going to be good. And a few 
few injury issues, but looks to be back in really decent form. Oh, Karakut once again. For that, eyes on the prize, 89.5 kilometers an hour. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant reactions. Oh, what a pick up. The rally continues. And the point goes the way of the home nation. Had two or three really good rallies here. Some super stuff from each side. Three blocking the net for Turkey. 18.3 second duration. Number five for Turkey, Erçan. Yeah, she's in for Yildirim by the looks of it. That was made just after the last timeout. Oh, she's in the number five shirt for Turkey at the moment. Oh. Alakert goes down. And the points for China go up. A monster block and a five-point lead for the Chinese. There's a lot of brilliant statistics recorded by the FIVB of volleyball, but two things that don't go onto the stat sheet. One, the free net when the setter gets you a really good position to hit with no blockers. The second one is the slow down block, the touched block that just slows the attack and allows the defenders to work. Steve Timmons, the former USA opposite, used to call it the silent assassin. And basically, it's not recorded, but both these teams are doing it really well today, and it's forcing the hitters to take bigger and bigger angles, and that then brings the kill block into play. Giovanni Guadetti is frustrated with his players today, and he's frustrated because he knows he's, that they've put themselves in a good position in set one and blown it and they just haven't given the same amount of commitment and discipline to the second set, the start of the second set. It's allowed China to get off to another good start. So, duting on water duty. Yeah, it's, it's great, isn't it? It's good to see, towel and water. Super teamwork from the Chinese. And a super opening point after that timeout for Turkey. Got to pull this one back now, China with that five-point lead in this second set. Mialu with uh, a quick discussion with her set at Ojbay because it wasn't a great set. And Ojbay knows that. He doesn't need to hear it from the attacker. Uh, Chan then new on court to try and change things a bit for Turkey here. Very experienced wing spiker. Good serve. Good serve indeed. There is no better than an ace. Straight back in. I wonder if this would have gone in. No, it wouldn't. That would have just gone out the back of court. So uh, Lindley taking a risk and messing it up. A wild hit for Lee, and she knew it. Turned away from that one. Normally when you hit it like that and it heads off, it flies off in that direction, it's clipped the block. And it looks like it has. So Turkey not challenging, not protesting. And the referee has overturned the decision in favour of the Lions judge to say that Lee has just put that away very nicely. Whoa. It's a shame, isn't it, when you're in, in, in an away stadium and you hit a ball that well, it silences the crowd. That's what you know. That's what you have to take as a positive. It's just a shame for Karakut. She's not getting that wave of sound to greet a wonderful hit like that. If that had been Juting, the roof would have come off. New player on court then, Guvelli. So Yasmin Guvelli, middle blocker, 21 years of age from the 
Kalaria Yolari Club. Not providing any kind of obstacle really for Jung to negotiate. side gets the ball to the setter and Nosbe gives her a good flat fast release to the wing double sub we saw this work really well for Turkey in the latter stages of set one so Yilmaz comes on in the front court for three rotations and on comes the backup setter Unal so Turkey have flipped their rotation around and they're gonna try and have six hitters in the front court for six rotations Then blocks again. Well, it instantly works. The substitution has instantly worked. Yilmaz right in the mix there. And it was her right hand that got the final piece of the block. So Turkey back to just four down in this second set. Make that three down in this second set. Mm, good substitution. Paying dividends. Yeah, that substitution, that particular rotation has scored seven points now for Turkey. It's been brilliant. Promoted herself from fluid provider to sweat mopper upper. <laughs> the team spirit, the camaraderie that the Chinese have. Well, Zhu Ting's spoken about her great relationship that she has with Lang Ping. Saying she's my mentor. She's made me the player that I am. Oh, and straight away. Off the back of that timeout. No, you've got to keep pressure on from the service line, but you should not reward a coach for calling a timeout by just shoving the ball into the net. At least ask a question. And Wung responds with the ace. And the pressure off China again. They retrieved the ball, it flew off. Time out, then called. It's great, isn't it, the way Juting is just playing a role even in the timeout. She just has to be involved, I think. Li Ying Ying. There's one of the many coaches that the nations have. Good game yesterday. They beat Poland. Look at that, three blockers at the net. Doing exactly what she needs to do. The number 12 for China. Six points so far today. Five on the attack. Yeah, left-handed player on the left side of court. Can always be tricky for the blocker. Getting those angles right, not leaving a massive open line for her to hit a problem. Nice hit from Yumas. Very well thought through. That's the concern for Yumas. She loses the left side of her body, it drops away the free side as she hits. It gives a good extension on the arm, but doesn't allow her a lot of control. Uh, but there, stayed really straight in the air and found the gap. Gives 
the Chinese fans another reason to cheer. They'll take a four point advantage in this second set. Point one, serve stays with them. Pick up. Oh, oh, brilliant. Terrific work again, both sides of the net. Some really super hitting, some very good defense, and then Lee, good awareness at the net, the left hander. And when you've got a wingspan like she has, you can get to her just about anything. Giovanni Guidetti will be upset that his players didn't shut it down at the net, but it's just the way it happens sometimes. left for Guidetti, that was his last throw of the dice. He can make substitutions still to slow the game down, he's got challenges left if he wants to throw one of those in, but can't have another timeout. Great serve. Oh, who? Out, says Akosh. Turkey might challenge here. So super spike on that slide D, but Akosh the libero says, look, I left it because it was out. I wasn't beaten. Challenging. Well, generally speaking, the liberos have got a really good eye for things like this. This is 100% this is of their training is spent defending. Was it valid? Was it justified? Wishful thinking, I'm afraid. She threw herself out at the ball, just didn't have a good clear view. But it stopped the game for a little while. They've lost the point, but it stopped the game. Chance to reset. Nice reply. Yeah, that's Yilmaz's trademark shot. Nice slow start to the approach and then good acceleration in. Reaches high, thumps it down the line. The taller players in the Turkish side, standing at 194 centimetres. So point one, serve stays with Turkey. China still five ahead. Blocked and kept in. Oh, good defence from China. Good netball. Some good volleyball, excuse me, on both sides. Yeah, brilliant. Wow, super stuff. Both teams with chances to kill the ball, but actually Turkey had the better control of that rally and just could not put it away <laughs> past this Chinese defence. Longer rallies today, over 23 seconds. But it gets China up to 20 points. Reaping towards a two-set victory. Who on the serve? Just felt like there was a block coming. You just felt like it was time for Lee and Yan Ni to shut down the line that Yilmaz has been working on. Trying to keep playing like this. Juting will be needed again today for them, their big gun. No, that's going to be Turkey's. They just can control their forward momentum, so touch the net. And at the moment, no sign. No, I was just going to say no sign <laughs> the substitution was going to be reversed, yep. but it is. Oshbe. Kalakurt <laughs> come back on. Yeah, she's, she's happy to be back, I think it's fair Love to say. It. 
So Oj Bay back court, so the setter now in the back line for three rotations. That means three front court hitters, one of them Karakur. So there's still chances here for Turkey to put a bit of pressure on. Problem for them is if they put enough pressure on, Juting's going to come back on court. I'm sure that thought wasn't in the back of Oj Bay's mind when she missed that serve. Not happy. 22-15. Serve back with the Chinese. Blocked well, and left. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Yan Li heard a call there, or thought she heard a call from Lee. So the middle blocker didn't chase it. And Lee was, in fact, the player facing the ball, so easier for her to go to the ball and play it, but nobody moved. So back to Urchan and Turkey. Oh, wonderful. Pick up by China to keep it in play, but the point goes the way of the Turkish. Lovely set selection from Ozbek. Chinese team stacking, expecting the ball to go to Karakut. Then a quick fire set in the middle, lovely B quick. A couple of metres away from the setter, and Gunesh has demolished that. Turkey. Uh, Ismail looked straight into Yanni, who remains one of the best blockers in this Chinese team. Really impressive. Great technique. They yeah, felt Turkey had got that point and it had gone their way. They would have half a chance here, but now with only two points needed, China on their serve for the second set. Vayner points down the middle because China thought, well, she's definitely, definitely yeah. going to set Karakut now. Good thinking for Moshbay. So Turkey go again. Oh, great defence, great pick up back in play. One's got snow on it. Oh, lovely. Not the cleanest contact you'll get from Yanni, but watch again. She's run to a place on the net where the blockers are and gone straight between the two of them. It's uncanny. So, crowd on the feet here in Jiang Men. Set point for China to make it two sets to nil. And it's long. And the second set goes to China, 25 points to 18. In terms of point scores, easier than their first set of 26-24. But a challenge potentially is coming the way from Giovanni Guidetti. Looked out, didn't it? I don't think Turkey will get anything from this, but if you've got a challenge left, use it. Might as well. There we go, the official review. Oh, oh. wow! What a call! <laughs> what a call! <laughs> so, oh, hang on, hang on, not yet. The second set's not, the second back, set's back you not come. done. Back you come. Not so fast, China. What a call. What a that was a speculative indeed. challenge, and it's worked out beautifully. That's the closest one we've seen yeah. so far this year. By far. Even the Turkish players didn't see that coming, but Turkey then on the serve. Still China's set point, remember? And there you go. They may have lost out on the challenge by the thickness of a vest, but in the next point, put the set to bed, 25-19. They go two sets to love up the Chinese, looking for a whitewash here over Turkey, but they'll have something to say about it. Turkish team are not going to sit down and lie down on this one, but it's China that go two up. Yeah, China played really well in that set. Turkey not quite the same discipline early doors. It's Langping style, sometimes to bring a couple of the stronger players on and get the job done properly in three. So we'll see what she does here, but Turkey not out of it yet. 
Turkey certainly still in with a shout here. So, some team statistics of set number two. The blocks for China, nice and healthy. Yeah, not much difference still between these two teams. Turkey ticking the scoreboard over well, but China, when they've got the ball in hand at the service line, are scoring well. So, an ace serve and five blocks, six points from the service line directly. Now, in terms of where China are uh, hitting the ball, where the distribution of sets is going. You can see there's not a lot through the middle at the moment. There's certainly nothing right down that FIVB logo centre line. So most of the shots have been coming wide. So the wing spikers and the opposites hitting well. And then when it comes to actually killing the ball, well, unfortunately, the Turkish block is too fractured. So the speed of the set from Yali is allowing a lot of shots to go down the centre of the court right between the blocks. So the Chinese fans understandably happy. Their side has a two set to nil lead in this match here. China will play the USA tomorrow. Turkey will be back, of course, to play Poland in the final match at Pool 16 here in week number four. It's a super match so far. There's so many good matches in the men's and the women's VNL this year. Go to the FI. VB website to be directed to catch up on any of the action that you've missed out on. I promise you, there's some spectacular volleyball being played as we lead up to the finals. But this match still has a lot of legs of it potentially. Are China going to put one over and get their second 3 0 win so far this week, just like they did against Poland yesterday? Or have the Turkish side and Karakut got something? to bring back to the party, to silence the fans and potentially take it to a fourth set. So, music's faded down. First serve of the third set. Really good jump set by Xiao Di. Setters jump in the air and actually play the ball airborne because it allows them to cut down the reaction and movement time of the blockers, particularly the middle blockers. Get a nice flat and fast set, takes a bit of pressure off the hands. Jardy doing that very well out wide to Lee. So third set in a row and the two teams trade up Good hits, first up. We know what Turkey have got. I mean, yesterday, in that win against the USA, better at attacking, serving and blocking. We know they have the full skill set, they're gonna have to dig it out. Get this match continuing today, and right on cue. Another ace in the match, this one. Vishmaloglu, the number nine for Turkey. Nice overhead shot. Turkey creeping to a lead in this third set. Nice defence. Blocked. Karakurt. And the point goes Turkey's way. Well, one thing Lang Ping will know is that Turkey are not done in this match and yep. the players they have on court can win this game. So China will be very, very careful about how things go from here. And if too much of a gap gets opened, I wouldn't be surprised to see Ju Ting sooner rather than later. China need this kill. Oh, too tight. 
is always coming down. Kong with a really nice, stable, controlled block. Watch the technique. Reaches right over, positions the hands back into court. That's the first block. And then exactly the same again. Timing and the positioning of the hands and those forearms, crucial. Well, back and forth, Kattekert, <laughs> running that position number two up and down. And she had to kill that one because that previous ball yeah. that she played was going out. And she knew it. So she put that one away very nice. So Turkey then with a two-point advantage. Mm -hmm. There's another ace. Response this from Turkey. Lovely line serve. Travelling fast enough to cause Lindley a few problems. And again. Turkey flying. Here's the chance for China just to get things calmed down. They do. What a shot from Joe. Super spike to dilute the power of Turkey over the past few points. If she missed that, I think Ju Ting would have come on court then for her. So that was a pressure hit. Really well done by the young wing spiker. Another good slow down block. A super slide D kill from Hoop. She's had a very good game, hasn't she? She hasn't done enough for us to be singing her praises the whole time, but she's not done anything to make us think, why is she on court? Just a really steady middle blockers game from the number five. China on serve to draw level. Up he goes Turkey's way, too long. Gump just getting underneath the ball, you need to hit through the back of the ball, really flat through the centre of the back of the ball. She just hit underneath. Wow. Good serve. Lack of communication. Rule number one, when someone's called to pass it, everybody else must look at them and see where the ball's going to go. China just accepted or felt Lee was going to stick this straight on the setter's head, but that was a fast serve. 89.9 kilometres per hour. Kattekut again. Yelling, screaming as she hits that ball. Great stuff. Really good set for Moj Bay. Yet again, the player who's just hit the jump serve is the player that has the ball given to them from the backcourt. It's clever stuff from the Turkish setter. So, Turkey. Starting in a strong position in this third set. First technical timeout, leading by four. Just keeping an eye on both of the benches, see if there's any moving and shaking going on. Maybe Lang Ping, her cogs will be turning in her brain. Team of four down in this third set. But you're right, Karakurt. Well, she's just she's just been phenomenal the last couple of games that we've seen her here in those first two days of action in week number four. Yeah, without doubt, one of the personalities on the VNL. Still a youngster, still developing as a player, but really one of the favourites to watch. I just feel she's maturing all of the time. Yeah, every single game, every single point in a match like this, she's learning every single point. Now, the, the indications here are that uh, Ju Ting might not come on in this set and that Lang Ping has probably said, OK, I'm going to go for a sacrifice set here. If we lose it, we lose it, then I'll make the changes. Double sub, Ping Jia in. So technical timeout does its job. Shouting. 
about very different things now. More in frustration than delight, that one. So serve back over to China. Three down in this third set. Yeah. Super spike indeed. Power and accuracy. What a set. Fives. What a set by this play. Look how fast that was. She was fading on that as well. So all the power in the ball was going through her hands and on the reverse. The tougher set was to force it out wide to four, and that's a belter. Now she's on the back line serving. Erchan for Turkey. So swings and roundabouts of volleyball, right? You do something yeah. fantastic, and then it's neutralised. And I'm convinced that's a player that's been hyped up after a really good spike that goes back to the service line where you have to be calm, you have to be in control. Turkey going well here, though. Oh. Straight down the middle, straight from the back. <laughs> and that's the. this is the part of the game where Karakuk can get oversight. This is where she can just get a little bit carried away. Wonderful hit on the pipe attack. Good player on court for uh, China. That's number eight, Jong Chinle. Still alive, don't turn your back. Not now, oh. <laughs> Jan was convinced it was gone, turns her back and gets the winning point. Classy. Wow. And good work from Ding to feed her again. Flat as you like. She really doesn't get a lot of height, Jan Ding. But it's her timing and positioning that makes every single centimetre she does get above the net count. Zong on the serve. China lucky to get away with that one. That, was, uh, that wasn't great from Yanni on that occasion. Got in everybody's way as uh, Zhang is just explaining. I was going to play that ball and he took it off me. Creeping back into this one after the strong start of Turkey in this third set. On their serve, just two points down. This remains a valuable outlet through the middle. Point the Turkish. And the three point lead on their serve. Great pick up, Akosh. Net touch, China. Point Turkey, and it was earned for them by their libero. Jia yeah, just trying to get there, be as high in the block as Yan Li, but overreaching. Setter to the other. Oh, she was the best setter in the VNL last year, Oshbe. In good form in the 2019 edition. But China now three down. Oh, oh what a pickup. Well, dead and buried. Oh, another good defensive move by the Turkish. China win the point. Frustration once again on the number 99's face. Oh, she just touched the net. What a shame. What a hit, but what a pickup. Now, is that going to be challenged for a floor touch? That's where it all went wrong. The tip was in court, but Karakort just let her hand drop down on top of the net. No challenge from Turkey. Free ball. Once 
once again, Yanni just moving to a position on the net that she knows is going to be tricky for the blocker. And then where she is, she just jumps in the air. It's almost a standing jump. Jumps in the air and the ball is fired into her hand. It's a, it's a really interesting technique they're trying to use for the middle players. New player on court, Kalach. First time we've seen her in action on the middle blocker. That's from the Galatasaray club. So China on serve to draw it level. So it's out. And Akua knows it's not touched the block either, so uh, Oshbe just saying to the coach, don't challenge. But I think they are going to have a look at this one. Yep. And this is purely Guidetti slowing the game up again. That's nowhere near the fingers. Well, understandably so, because it's 12 points apiece after a, a nice little cushion that the Turkish side had at the start of this third set. So now they're going to have to have some composure. China looking to seal this one out, 3-0. It's on their serve. Play by the Liberos. Well, the court has gone, I'm afraid. So, four touches. The ball didn't go over the net and into the block. Great pick up from Jiang in the back court. Just to allow that continuation play. And now, Gudetti's nightmare. No Merriam Boss, the captain, who would normally be the opposite player for this Turkish side on the bench. So, what's he going to do here? Who's he going to bring in? Any doubt what Giovanni Guidetti means. You see some of the other assistant coaches just saying, it's okay, listen, you know what you're doing. Give her a little pat on the back there. She was absolutely deflated then. And she was being spoken to by Guidetti. If she makes one more mistake, I think Ilmaz comes in. Big test for the number 99, but she'll have to wait for another point to get the set. Now the pass is demolished, and this is a huge run of points for China. Lovely free-flowing hit on the overpass. Yielded him back on court. Haven't seen her since the first set. Brilliant. Really, really well controlled by Karakut. Yep, good response. Good mature response. From the 19-year-old. So they serve with Turkey. Just one point now behind the Chinese after their little run. They go into the lead in this third set. Swing. What a pick up. Another great rally. Oh, the point goes China's way. But again, another rally that demonstrated skills on both sides. We're moving into that phase of the game where both teams are quite aware of where the hitters are hitting. So they're positioning their defenders quite comfortably, expecting the ball to go there. And they're making the play. Long from China. Very unusual for Yan Ni to miss a serve. She's normally really reliable. Gavelli in. Another middle blocker on court. So all four middle blockers have been used for Turkey today. Wide. Comes it 
crucial time as well. It would have brought them level in this third set. The second technical timeout then of this third set. China leading by two. They're really going to want to finish this one, China. They've only dropped four sets in the whole of the VNL so far. Yan, the number 17, playing the usual important role for Lang Ping and her side. Yeah, I've been really impressed. And when you've got Yuan Xinyue on the bench as well, so uh, alongside Yan Li, that's a world class middle blocking unit. And now, Zhang Ping has, uh, Lang Ping has real options with the way that uh, Jiang has played in this game. And, in particular, she's got real options out on the wing for someone to partner Ju Ting. This Chinese team just looking stronger and stronger as this VNL progresses. But Yan Li, a vital part of that through the middle. So we go again in the third set. China two up. Well, I'll make that China three up with an ace off the back of the technical timeout. Well, Xia served a hat-trick last week. And that was a bizarre one. Basically yielded him, hopped out of the way, and Smeloglu just wasn't ready to pass it. of with Etty today. This is not his normal personality. He's normally a very smiley, very personable man. But he's not happy with his team today. And I think he feels they've spurned opportunities. He was, feels they were in this game. They should have at least a set on the board by now. It's a frustrated Giovanni Guidetti on the sidelines today or at the moment. Still time for Turkey to pull this one round, of course. 17-14 China lead in this third set. Another overpass. It's, it's a lovely thing for the middle players to hit because it's coming to you with power on it already. So all you have to do is just cap the ball with your hand and it will fly. And when you have reaction times going down towards uh, about, about a quarter of a second, that's beyond human capability. And another ace. Ding Jia is taking this game away from Turkey. Smile to a bench. A smile and a flash of the teeth to the fans. He's in a good place. And she's looking for more. China, five points ahead in the third set. Back under control. Oh, oh, great kill. And Zhang Chunlei, left-hander, opposite spiker, on court as a substitute. Knew that that corner was open. Knew Ozbe had left her defensive duties. Just drilled it. Absolutely drilled it. Trying to hit the 20-point mark. See Calicut poised and ready if needed, but not on that point because China now go seven up with a monster block. Turkey have gone from being in control of this set to 21 14 down, it's a huge turnaround. Decent serve by Ding. Picked up. Got to go back over. Oh, the pickup was there, but the space wasn't. Her chan back on court for Yildirim. Now the double substitution. Who now is on for Karakut? That's a, that's a tough call. So Unal will serve. Yilmaz comes into the front line. I, I'd, have, I'd have just given Karakul one more go from the service line. Just go on, give us six aces. But no, 
she's off court. Who now? Much easier serve for China to deal with. Although they make a bit of a hash of it. So on that basis, once again, this substitution has worked. Yilmaz into the front line, Bunal onto the service line, point scored straight away. Worked in the first set, worked in the second set, it's worked for one point in the third. Here comes another one. No, what a save. What a save. serve continues 22 16 three points away for winning their second match this week but once again turkey do have something to say about it yilmaz basically karakut's replacement out on court at the moment putting the ball away So, Turkey looking for a good serve from Urchan. <laughs> top scorer, second top scorer so far today, the number nine for Turkey. 13 points behind Karakut's 15 points. A timeout by Lang Ping. Timeouts used and potentially the last timeout before China close out, maybe, this match here with a three set victory. No chant will have the serve for Turkey. Let's see if that little timeout breaks affected her. No, puts it in cleanly. That was the point Turkey needed. Exactly the same as the last set. Ishmael had a hit to close the gap down to something that would be pressure for China, and she's just welled it straight into the middle of the block. Who? With a taped up finger, serves for China. Two points away from victory here, the Chinese. And the Turkish team pull it back, 23-19. Staying nice and strong in the air, but you can see what I mean about her body collapsing away and sometimes causes her problems. But it's uh, been fine in this game, she's hit well. Uh, the cheers from the Turkish team. All rolled off. Direction of the officials. Well, better late than never from Ismaolu. Still two points to get for China. This is when you can put pressure on oppositions when they start to think about the end of the match. <laughs> Off the block and out. Lee's had a good game. Really steady. So, the stadium announcer starts to ramp it up. Match point for China. On their serve. It's kept in, not just yet. For China. That was horrible. Well, it was horrible. Match point for China. Turkey pull one back, so it will still be match point, of course, for the home nation. Horrible. Yeah, nobody called it, nobody identified who was going to pass the ball, and it just dropped out the sky. 
So Turkey on the serve. China still on match point, remember. Oh, what a dive. Trying to go again. Turkey set it up. Oh. <laughs> Nailed. Well, despite the best efforts of Sariolu to keep Turkey in that rally, it's Lee that applies the finishing touch with another great hit, fading back from the net. Look at the power she puts on that. Super kill. A super kill and a super win for the Chinese, just like they did against Poland yesterday. It's a 3-0 whitewash by the Olympic champions over the VNL League leaders, Turkey. China will come back tomorrow for their last match in Pool 16 here in Jiangmen against the USA. Turkey will return to take on Poland. But well, 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 got a bronze at the Nations League in 2018 when they built Brazil, beat Brazil, China. Only won the league or the World Grand Prix, as it was previously called, once in 2003. Is this the year that Lang Ping and her side pick up the gold medal, a super match, and China win it out three sets to nil against Turkey. So the fans have been treated to a real volleyball masterclass from the Chinese there. Their fans are excited and delighted. It was a really good match as we expected. Let's have a look back on some of the highlights as China thrashed Turkey three sets to nil.